Children's Museum of New Hampshire. So if you listened to the story where Pete wears his brand new white shoes and goes for a walk and steps in a bunch of different things and changes the color of his shoes, that's what this art project is going to be based on. So we're going to do some painting today with watercolors. For this project you need watercolor paints, um, you need a white crayon, and you need to prep a few things ahead of time with your white crayon. Um, you need water and a paintbrush. And the paper that I'm going to be using is sketchbook paper, um, but any paper that's a little thicker than copy paper should work for this. Copy paper will work as well, um, but with watercolors, kids tend to add a lot of um, liquid to their papers and it may not last as well. Um, the paper can get kind of thin if there's a lot of water on there. So to prep ahead, you are going to draw some things that Pete might have stepped in. Um, to change his shoes different colors. And if you look on our blog, you'll see a couple of ideas. Most of them are food um, that, could, that you could draw and have kids guess what Pete might have stepped in. Um, so you're gonna draw those things ahead of time on the paper with a white crayon. And when you add the watercolors, it's going to show what you drew through it. Um, so I'm going to start, I did one for every color, but I won't go through each and every one. Um, but just to give you an idea, I'm going to start with brown. Um, so take a guess about what Pete could have stepped in. And we're going to use our imaginations here because just like in the book, we don't really know how Pete came across those big containers full of strawberries or blueberries. Um, but we're just going to think, what could change your colors, your shoes a different color? Um, that would be brown. And I'll give you a hint. It's something that a lot of grown-ups like. Um, so I'm going to start painting the brown all over my paper. There's no wrong way to do this because the design is already on here. Um, and I'm just going to cover as much as I can in the brown. This makes this a good project really for any age because if you're just adding color to the paper, uh, there's really no wrong way to do it. You'll still see what design is made underneath. So if you guessed coffee, you were right. That's something brown that lots of grown-ups like and that could change Pete's shoes to a different color. So I drew a coffee cup on here and then when I paint it over in brown you can see the design. Um, so let's do blue. This one was really tricky to think of something other than what's in the book so that's a really big hint. Um, and I'm gonna start color uh, painting with the blue on this picture. And with watercolors to spread it out, you can always add a little bit more water, but it's important to wash your brush off really well so that your colors are not mixing on your pictures. And if you guessed that Pete once again stepped in blueberries to change his shoes blue, you were correct. Those are my blueberries. And let's do purple because that one's not in the book. What do you think Pete could step in that might change his shoes to be purple? Let's see. It looks like some grapes. Pete stepped in grapes to make his shoes turn purple. So if you want to, you can prep one of these for each color in the watercolor palette here, which is what I did. Um, and it's really fun. It's fun if you do a lot ahead so that when kids start the project, they can just go ahead and start guessing and working on it. And if they like doing it, they can also make their own with a white crayon. Um, so anything you draw with a white crayon, as long as you press down nice and hard should show up because it creates a wax resist. So you'll be able to see your design underneath the watercolors. The watercolors won't soak in. If you don't have a white crayon, try this at home. Another way you can do some Pete the Cat art is using some tape. 
Um, so I made this picture of Pete with his <laughs> big iconic eyes um, using washi tape. And we're gonna paint with watercolors and then wherever we put the tape, when I take it off, you'll see has turned stayed white and the rest of it will change colors. Um, so I'm gonna paint Pete's eyes first because his eyes are yellow. And it's harder to make sure that we keep the blue away from the yellow. So I'm going to do that part first because if you mix yellow and blue, you end up with green and we don't want Pete to look like an alien. Um, so <laughs> these eyes are yellow. So I did that first. I added in the watercolor paint for Pete's eyes. Um, and next I'm going to add the blue. And this is also a neat one you can do uh, um, with other things as well. Um, making a design with tape. And I used washi tape. It's really easy to take it off afterwards and it usually doesn't tear the paper at all. Um, but you can do this with other types of tape as well. If your tape is white, like masking tape, it might be a little harder to see um, the, paint, the tape when kids put it on. So they might have a harder time making a design, but the washi tape is nice because it shows up really well. Um, and I drew some of Pete's other features with a permanent marker so that it would not spread around when I add the water. If you use water-based markers, it will spread around a little bit, but I did one earlier and it actually came out okay. So if you don't have a permanent marker, or if you don't want to use one, that's fine. Um, so I painted in my Pete. It's Pete's blue with yellow eyes and it looks like that. And with kids, I would wait to take the tape off until it completely dries um, to make sure that the lines come out nicely. But I'm going to start taking mine off just so you can kind of see the effect. And it may not be perfect um, because I'm taking it off while it's still wet. Usually kids will add lots of water to their pictures. So you want to make sure that the paint dries, which doesn't take too long. Um, and if you have a bunch of these prepped, it might be another good way to go so that while they are waiting for their picture to dry, they can be working on another one. Um, so I started to take my tape off and you can see where it's white where I had put tape and it makes a beautiful outline of Pete and I'm going to leave the tape on the eyes because I think for now that yellow needs to dry a little bit more or Pete will be turning green like I said. Um, so when you take it off you can see your Pete the Cat artwork. Thank you for joining us today for our Paint the Cat party, uh, and we hope to see you at the museum soon. Bye!